Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 143. That is, what is pair testing? Let me answer. Pair testing is a random testing which falls into one of the ad hoc testing types. Under ad hoc testing, we have different testing types like buddy testing, pair testing, and monkey testing. As I mentioned, pair testing falls into this ad hoc testing types where random testing is performed. In pair testing, two testers having different knowledge levels test the same feature at same time and same place, okay? In pair testing, two software testers having different knowledge levels test the same feature at same time and same place, that is same, same machine or something, okay? So it's like combined studies, guys, okay? So just imagine, guys, uh, let's say you are studying by yourself, okay? You only have some portion of knowledge, okay? And uh, while you're studying that particular uh, portion of the subject or something, you will, be, you, will, you will be producing better results. But when you come to the other chapters where you are not good at, then you will be a bit slow, right? Now, let's say you have one friend. That friend is not good at whatever the subjects you are good at, but he is good at the other subjects you are not good at. Now, let's say instead of you two guys separately studying and uh, preparing for an exam or something, okay? If you do combined studies where you two guys come together, sit together and discuss all this stuff, okay? Learn all these subjects with uh, together help, okay? Helping each other. What happens? The one, the subjects that you don't know will be shared by the other, other friend or someone and uh, you, uh, you will help your friend in the subjects he is weak at, okay? So like that, ultimately you two people by sitting together will generate better results, right? This is what happens in the pair testing also. But here, instead of those two people studying, get two, two testing, uh, two testers, okay? Two testers who are having different knowledge levels. There's the same feature at the same time and same place to get better results, okay? By doing this pair testing, those two testers having different knowledge levels will exchange the ideas during this, prim, during this, uh, okay? During this process will discuss, okay, not only uh, discuss about the ideas and all, they'll discuss everything, whatever the work they are doing, they will discuss, okay? Exchange the ideas, they will do a lot of discussions and brainstorming, you can say. They will note down, okay? While one person is, uh, you know, right, uh, doing something, reading or uh, reading or explaining something, other person will make a note or, okay, such kind of activities can be done to fasten up the work. They will collaborate and share knowledge within each other. This is what happens in pair testing. So what are the advantages? Uh, we get as part of the pay testing if the testing is done in the form of uh, two people two testers working together having different knowledge faster testing is possible okay as two people are focusing two minds are focusing the faster testing will happen and also you see this is uh, this is more helpful pay testing is more helpful let's say there's one new beginner joined the team okay is a fresher who is very new to testing okay instead of giving him a lot of training and all those stuff right uh, and making work independently let's say you attach one okay as a test leader or someone who is a bigger role you just attach one senior tester to the junior tester and ask them to work together okay what happens during the process the senior tester will share the knowledge quickly to the junior tester and help him complete the work so with this right the the junior or the fresher or the beginner who just joined the team will come up to the speed in testing very faster okay he'll understand the things very bit bit faster okay so collaboration of different knowledge levels, okay? Senior with junior or uh, maybe more, more knowledgeable person with a low knowledgeable person when they work together, right? The collaboration will be there and knowledge sharing will happen and uh, outcome will be good, brainstorming will be good, okay? More accuracy work will be there because they brainstorm and uh, generate the accurate work. Better outcome will work, better work will come, like a better test cases will be created, better bug reports, with the good details will be reported and so on. The work will become better, better and accurate, okay? These are the advantages, guys. These are the advantages of the pair testing. Faster, better, accurate work along with the knowledge sharing and collaboration. And uh, quickly bring the beginners to come up to the speed in the projects. Also, this pair testing will help. So, 
in the last uh, session i answered another interview question on uh, what is body testing though this body to uh, body testing and pay testing look similar okay though this body testing and pay testing looks similar where in body testing also two people will be testing in pay testing also two people will pair up and perform testing but what is the difference the most of the things are same the purpose is same but what is the difference is okay that i am going to explain in the next session okay the next session i am uh, i am going to answer another interview question that is where uh, i am going to explain the difference between the body testing and pair testing okay so at a high level guys in body testing there will be one from the development team one body from the development team one body from the testing team but in pair testing two people will be from the testing team only but they should have the different knowledge levels okay so then only will get the results right uh, senior and junior or okay a high knowledgeable person with a low knowledgeable person or high with uh, the next level knowledgeable person whatever it is from the same testing team will be doing here from different okay developer with tester and all okay here from the same at a high level this is a uh, difference uh, i'll explain more more uh, about this body testing versus uh, pay testing in the next session as part of the interview questions okay i'll be covering that in detail in the next session fine so hope guys uh, you got the answer for this interview question that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye